Hey guys, this is YT42, and welcome to the Zelda 1 Let's Play. Oh boy! Zelda 1. Um, I've, I've only played and beaten, well I mean I've played nearly every Zelda game. Um, every mainstream one anyway. Um, I've, uh, but the only two that I've beaten are Link to the Past and this one. In fact, I've beaten this one several times, because, truth be told, I really enjoy this. Uh, so, I'm, this is Zelda 1, of course. Um, I'm doing this on the Zelda Collector's Edition on the uh, GameCube, and let me just turn up the sound a bit. That's a little bit loud. And yeah, that'll do. Okay. So, I'll read this. This is where the legend began. The game that started the Zelda series. It boasted an innovative and unique gameplay system, remarkably deep puzzle solving, and an epic score. Even now, over 15 years after it first launched, that appeal is still going strong. And, uh, you know what guys? Just a second, because I'm actually going to go and grab a guide. You'll see why this is going to be important in a second, so let me go get it. Okay guys, so I've got the uh, the map up and we are all good to go. Now the first few episodes I guess of this series are going to be a little um uh well heavily actually edited because it's just gonna be a bunch of me wandering around and probably getting killed a lot. Because in the beginning of Zelda 1 you're often going to be killed. And yes, if you're wondering, I am using a wave bird. <laughs> this is gonna be fun! Well, I mean, I practiced this game on the GameCube like twice already. And that file that I started with the, uh, the live stream, yeah, I finished that like about a week after. Anyway, this has been edited and fixed. Long ago, Ganon, Prince of Darkness, stole the Triforce of Power. Princess Zelda of Hyrule broke the Triforce of Wisdom into eight pieces and hid them from Ganon before she was kidnapped by Ganon's minions. Link, you must find the pieces and save Zelda. Alright, so these are the things that you'll find in the game. Um, in the original NES version, uh, that text there was was awful. Prince of Prince Darkness Ganon. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad they fixed it here. Um, but here's all this stuff that you'll eventually be getting in the game. Man, I am excited to get this started. Very much so. Um, how many times have I been in the game now? Probably three times? Yeah. Alright, please look up the manual for details. You're meant to have the manual if you want to beat this game without a guide. But the manual may as well be a guide. Anyway, if you see this... Alright, that's painful. Anyway, Stuigi. Uh, yeah, I beat that file. There are only 12 deaths. And the practice file, which I did like way, way, way back... I think three years ago now. Jeez. Um, that... That, um... I never finished it. And plus, I already have more deaths than I do with uh, this. Anyway, our name... For every single uh, iteration of Link, I'm going to have a stupid name. And for the Zelda 1 and 2 Link, well, probably not Zelda 2, because I'll probably never let's play that, it'll be Stuigi. No, that's not what I meant to... Crap, okay. Um, can I end... Okay, progress saved. Awesome. Um, that says, like, Stuigi, uh, Stuigi with a bunch of spaces. Okay. Illumination mode. That's Stuigi. Alright, thank you, GameCube. Alright. And now, let's go... End. Um... Alright, am I... Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get these menus, damn it. Stu E G Stu E G Because that's the name that I came up with, like, at the live stream. <laughs> anyway, without further delay, 
rhymes. Let's get this started. Now, first thing that... Oh god, the wave bird's already mucking up. First thing that you want to do is come to this cave, unless you're doing the swordless run, which... Um, good luck with that, I say to thee. Alright, let's grab the sword. It's the wooden sword. Now, expect me to die a lot, because I haven't practiced this in a few months. Already. Oh, well, that was helpful. Thank you. Alright, so, how this works is you press the A button to stab, and uh, if you're at full health, you can shoot a beam out from your sword. Um, and just standing still, like here, uh, will block most attacks, unless it's a magical attack. In which case, uh, that will still hurt you. Anyway, come in here, buy something, will ya? No, because we don't have any money. Uh, the rupees are in the... We have, you see, we have zero rupees, zero keys, and, uh... Crap, yet. We, we don't have the magic shield yet. Alright, so those, those, like, glowing projectiles that are being fired at us, uh, we can't block them, we just have to outright avoid them. Don't bother attacking the Zora, which is firing them, um, because it pretty much can't die. Holy crap, wave bird. Oh my god, wave bird is, like, infuriating. Meet the old man at the grave. This game is really cryptic, so... If you're gonna play this, recommend having a guide, otherwise you will not have a fun time. As... You will eventually find out. Okay. Holy crap, I forgot. I need to get used to these controls again. These controls aren't that great. Honestly, I actually hate these controls. I hate how it controls, especially when the wave bird is being a pain in the ass. Okay. Alright, blocked it. Holy crap, wave bird, please. Look, you see me, like, doing that little jitter thing? That's not me, that's the wave bird. The bombs, okay. You know what, just real quick, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna press select and pause the game. I'm gonna fix these batteries real quick. I'm gonna stick them in real hard. Alright. You happy there? Good. Alright, now we're at a smoother pace. Smoother. Oh, did I kill him? Or was he already? Holy crap, okay, this game. <sighs> and it's controls. Okay, well. Alright. I really hate that feeling when you're side on with an enemy and it's like a. you know, it's about to turn and face you. Anyway. This game also has a lot of hidden secrets. Some good, some bad. Some will reward you, uh, reward you with money for finding them, and some will make you pay for repairs. So yeah, be careful with the secrets that you uh, you find. Haha, <laughs> eat it. Okay. So I know there's a secret on this screen, but we don't have the means to get to it. So with this screen, it's on that corner bush. And the fifth bush from the right here has a secret. Believe me, we're going to be using it. We're going to be, uh, needing those secrets. Crap. Freaking levers. Alright. Oh, crap! No, no, no! I'm, I'm already nearly dead. Give me a heart, please. Oh, five rupees. That doesn't really help. Game. Okay, Alright. I'm probably gonna die here, but, yeah. This game is tough at the beginning, but midway through the game, you will be loving it. Seriously, it is so much fun midway through the game. Also, if you want to save and quit, um, you have to actually grab out... God damn it, wave bird. You actually have to grab out a second uh, controller, and um, you then have to... What do you have to do then? Oh yeah, you have to press... A and up or something? Oh, of course I stuck out the sword. Okay, that was awkward, but we're gonna keep going. See, it'd be fine if it was just the levers, but because we have the Zora, which is the thing in the water, and the levers are obviously the things on the ground. Oh, what? He hit me before he even spawned. Come on, I'm already gonna die. <laughs> hate the beginning of this game. But midway through this game is actually really fun. Um, oh yeah, secret right off the bat. Crap, I keep forgetting that I have these uh, 
projectiles. Secret off the right off the bat is this. Hey, come in here. It's a secret to everybody. And you get if I can thank you. 30 free rupees. You will always want to look out for those guys, because they are amazing. And I believe there's three in the overworld that will actually give you a hundred. Now the limit for um, the amount of rupees that you can rupees that you can have is uh, 256. So yeah, you know how hexadecimals. Well, if you're familiar with the missing no thing, you know that hexadecimals go up in uh, twos. So holy, come on! That was the wave bird. <sighs> holy, look, it's doing it there. I'm pressing A. God, the wave bird is such a pain. I'm mashing A at this point because I know the wave bird's gonna stuff it. Oh, and of course I get the stopwatch on the last enemy. All right, I'm gonna pause it real quick and stick in the batteries properly. God, that's it. The way that the wave bird's designed is that the batteries hang and they eventually fall out. Which is stupid. All right, I'm just gonna ignore all the rest of the enemies. Be some enemies here though, or just two blue levers, okay. You will always hate the blue enemies because they're the stronger ones, especially these guys. I don't remember their names, but I think they're like small gomas or something. Well no, there's a boss called a goma. Um not there. Is it there? Oh crap, I just wasted two bombs. Great! I'm gonna have a fun time trying to I hate that. I really do hate that. I'm gonna have a fun time trying to get those two bombs back. Crap! Come on. Okay, now I know there's a, uh, a dude that has a secret to everyone up here. Crap, if I can live to place the bomb. Uh, by the way, you will get hurt by the blast radius, so always get out of the way of the bomb. Oh no, that's a different dude. Never mind, this guy has 30 rupees. Come on! The stupid wave bird! Oh my god. Okay. We're only this far into the game, and I'm already furious at the wave bird. Seriously, it's an awful controller, but the reason that I'm using it is because it's the only way that I can record without being in an awkward position. Come on, I... Uh, death number three! Anyway, uh, we need to get some bombs back, and I'm not buying bombs because I really do not want to do that. So we need to go around and hope for some bomb drops. And I really hate having the green tunic. Um, the, the blue tunic, which is what we will have eventually, is uh, really, really useful. Okay, I can't grab that, can I? Oh, of course, I got hit by you. Alright, he's dead. Um, the blue tunic we will uh, get once we have enough hearts. Oh no no, the blue ring, sorry, uh, which gives you the blue tunic. Uh, we need 250 rupees for. And that was my fault actually. Oh crap. Now, don't get me wrong, this game is infuriating. Come on! I could not move! The stupid wave bird is pushing me back. Come on! I hate the GameCube wave bird. It's an awful controller. It the batteries always stick out. Come on. It sucks too because I can't play the GameCube any GameCube game comfortably. It's either the wave bird is stuffing up. The um, either the wave bird is stuffing up, or the- come on, the- COME ON! The cords 
the extension cords, which lets me play in a, in a comfortable position, don't work. And trust me, don't buy extension cords for GameCube controllers, they do not work. And this game is frustrating, holy crap, I want more hearts, but I need bombs to get to AREAS <sighs> with heart containers. I don't know, I don't know, I should probably go buy the blue candle. I believe it's in a shop up here. This godforsaken controller does not work. Honestly, for future recording sessions, I'm just going to use the regular GameCube controller. Even if it is in an awkward position that is really uncomfortable, this controller is awful. Don't ever use the WaveBird controller if you're going to do anything. Seriously, the batteries always hang out. Well, this is second hand, so I don't know if it was the previous owner. But anyway. Um, by the way, don't buy the big shield here. The magic, uh, which is called the magic shield, that will uh, block um, energy based projectiles. So, like the Zora's thing. And that seems really useful. Don't buy it here, though, because it's actually really expensive. Different shops will have, um, uh, you know, better. Better prices, especially hidden ones. So, I'm actually going to go and get a heart container real quick. Um, this is one that I always remember no matter what. Alright. See, I really hate the controls in this game. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, this game is amazing. I love it. I love it more than some other Zelda games. This is probably one of my favorite NES games. Well, my favorite... It's just cheap. Like, well, most games that I let's play. Okay, the stops watch, that's what it does. It stops enemies. Um, this controller, I swear to god, I'm going to go insane. Doesn't help that I'm playing an NES game. Alright, that is a PASSAGEWAY! God, secrets to everybody. 30 rupees. Alright. Alright. Holy crap, game. One, two, I can't. Three, four, five. Okay, so it's this one. Use the, oh, by the way, the blue candle you can only use uh, once per, ma uh, per map screen. Take any one you want. Unless you're doing a three heart run, you always want to get the heart container because that extends your health, and that's the um, and uh, you only get to choose that once. So be be wise. Don't do anything stupid. All right. So there's a se uh, secret shop in here. You will need. Boy, this is really expensive. You don't say. So you will need. In my opinion, never buy the heart. Um, the heart which is in like if it if it was a fairy I'd maybe go for it. Fairies uh, give you three hearts, I believe. Maybe five, something like that. Um buy the magic shield here. Unfortunately I'm two off. Plus I'm saving up for the blue ring, which is gonna be really useful. And uh, you will need this meat for later for Dungeon Seven, so keep that in mind. Playing this game, I love this game, don't get me wrong, it's just some of the flashbacks I'm getting here. God. Like, some of the some of the enemies in this game are insane. Insane in difficulty. And holy crap, this game. I love you game, but you're a little frustrating to play, especially when you do that. Crap, guys. These are Octorox, by the way. They're the names of the enemies. Alright, whenever they're about- whenever they stop, it, um, they're obviously about to shoot a rock. Um, does the other bush have anything? Oh, yeah, um, something that's also really useful is fairy fountains. Um, fairy fountains? Oh, that's a shop in there, by the way, so, yeah. 
believe it's a potion shop. I'll get into those later. Um, there's a blue moblin and a red one. Crap. Okay. Good thing that I'm uh, right here. A fairy fountain. There's about two of them, or three of them, around the world. They will fully restore your health. Now that is useful. Um, so, for most of this, guys, I'm actually just going to be uh, farming rupees. Which, you know, that, that's boring. So, I might just skip over this. But I will still be commentating, just in case I find something good. So, yeah. Crap, okay. Alright, so, uh, by the way, you, uh, hmm, actually, you know what, I'm gonna check if there's any heart containers that we want to find, or that we can get to, without, oh no, but there is a rupee shop, um, which is going to be useful. Uh, not a rupee shop, but you know what I mean. Um, you can get free rupees! So, where is that, might I? Whoa, that's actually a ways away from where I am. But I'll live. Oh no, there's actually one, like, right next to us. 